we're at a technology age where it's hard for to shut people up when they're on yeah. something, you know, and it's hard for them to do. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, yeah, you know, it, it, it was bad that they did that. But on the other hand, you should be happy. Yeah. Because they, you're they, right. You're on to something. They try and shut me down. I just get louder. Yeah, well, just like the UFO videos, that is a great example of how it's hard to keep stuff quiet nowadays. Mm -hmm. And, of course, they still did with the whole Pentagon thing. Nobody was able to sit in on that big meeting that they had with Congress. Or like, Shocker. Right. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. But still, it blows my mind how they still let that Jeremy Corbell dude let ha let let all those videos out. Not prosecute him, and then even say that we don't know what these U UAPs. That's yeah, what they call yeah, now. They these UAPs, UAPs are unidentified yeah. aerial phenomena. Yeah. Yes, I still like UFO. You know, everybody still says they, that they they changed it. So when when and if they do uh, admit it, they can be like, "Yep, UAPs exist." You know, because they change the terminology, well, it yeah. wouldn't be so they can that. save face a little bit. Yeah, but but and and they basically it, it just blows my mind how they're talking about it right now. Like this is the first time that I remember in history that UAPs, UFOs, whatever have been this well have been spoken about this much in mainstream media, and you have all of these government officials coming out and saying like, yeah. We don't know what these are. They say that. They could know. Who knows? But still, it's weird. Yeah. And, and I just wonder, like, why? You know, why? What's their end game for this? I'm ready. Oh, me? Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, um, anybody. Anybody. <laughs> so my, my, my opinion, my theory is that they're starting, A, they can't, they can't shut us up anymore. Right? Like, we're with social media and technology and the cameras and everything, like, they can't shut us up. The second reason that I think that they're doing this is a distraction. I think that they are putting that stuff there for us to find mm -hmm. and using it as a distraction to then be able to say that there is going to be some sort of invasion or attack to help push their their agenda, their narrative. Mm. And we talked about it, I think, yeah, maybe we, on the podcast we have. Uh, that will be airing later, uh, Project Bluebeam, mm -hmm. if you're familiar with that. Mm -hmm. It's on the map. What was Project Bluebeam? Uh, it's where the government or the powers that be have the capability to project UFOs that are holograms, but they appear to be real over several cities, several places, and people will think that they're real, but they're actually not. And, you know, from that point on, they could uh, play them out as being hostile. Mm -hmm. uh, a scare tactic. Coming like in. Mars attacks. But, but what do y'all think... They could, how how could that be beneficial to the government for people to go crazy living in fear? Yeah, I well, but even then, I mean, I I, I just still don't because people are already living okay. in fear. Well, yeah, yeah, they are. But if people, if more people are so afraid, they can get whatever laws passed that they want to. It's a distraction because nobody's going to step up and say anything. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Like what laws or whatever circumstances come out of this, what do you think that will be? Second Amendment issues. Could oh, very well be. First Amendment. I mean, look at what they're already doing. And Fourth Amendment. But don't you think that that would also, <coughs> like, that would be the first thing that people do? Like, if I, if they were saying, like, alien invasion, I would use up all of my savings to go get whatever type of weaponry oh, I would, could. But see, people, people are going to realize that, you know, okay, well, if this is such an advanced life form, our guns are probably not just going to bounce off them. So... People are going to not buy the guns. They're going to get scared, and then they're going to rely on the government who's here to help um, to protect us. And mm -hmm. that's going to be them sliding in the back door to take away our rights. Here's my I thing. I get that point. Here's my thing. <clears throat> First, we have to understand that aliens are not what the media projects. They're not little green people running around, okay? Alien is anything that is not of human form, right? Or not of this earth. So several different things can fall under the category of an alien, right? Mm -hmm. They've also been here in and out since the beginning, since before the beginning. And if they're going to come back, when they come back, it's going to be the individuals that are open and ready to accept their help and their message. It's not going to be hostile, and they're definitely not going to do a public display 
to a, a world that can't even get over their own race's color. It's not yeah. going to happen. Or which bathroom to use. Yeah, exactly. I, it's see, not going to happen. See, like, I, I've talked with buddies that are like, oh, I mean, we've known about it for decades now. I think that the world is ready to know that aliens mm-hmm. exist. Last year, I mean, people were fighting over toilet paper. Yeah. I mean, no, they're, they're not ready. And, and I wonder if anybody will ever be ready. I mean, like, I, I don't know how, as a government, you would even go about telling people that, yeah, aliens are real. Well, first you would change the terminology, <clears throat> like right. they have from UFOs to UAPs, and uh, you know then you would have uh, the report that they did do to Congress. There's a congressman in Indiana that is trying and has recommended a public hearing on what was discussed behind closed doors. He's pushing for it. I don't know if he'll get it. Yeah, I doubt but it. But he is pushing for that. I mean. It, even like just everything that's came out over the last year or so, however long this has been since all those three videos have got so much publicity, it has surprised me that they've talked about it this much to begin with. And I mean, the people that watch these videos, even I'm skeptical because with all the hypersonic technology that they're developing nowadays, I mean, who knows what's possible? Well, and that's what we were talking about um, on one of the podcasts was that um, there's... I said, you know, I, I want to know how big that uh, of a of a drone is made now that has, you know, the, the quad props on it or has the ability to pretty much move seamlessly any direction, any which way, mm-hmm. um, because that, you know, can mimic very easily what we think UFOs do. Yeah. And if they're big enough, who knows? Yeah. But, you know, obviously it's not like a Predator drone because, you know, it still flies like a, a conventional airplane, but... These, these little zippy ones, they they could be doing something with those, too. And that's just the ones that they're telling us about. Right. I mean, e- even the Blackbird back <coughs> in the day, they tried to say that, oh, that don't exist. Now it's common knowledge. They still won't even tell you how fast it goes. But even 2, then, 2,792 like, miles an hour. But, but, it, but they, see, like, now that they've put that out, who knows what they're not talking about. Like, I have family. I come from a big uh, military background in my family. And, you know, I have relatives that were talking about some of the technology that we have nowadays. They've seen stuff similar back in the 60s and 70s, you know, and uh, now it's 40, 50 years later, and now they're letting us have that because who knows what they have nowadays. That's another topic we've talked about is is the whole time frame or timeline of how far behind the people are to their government. Yeah. And, you know, my best friend has been now in two branches and has only confirmed that we are at least 100 years behind. He's got – he's used stuff the last 10 years that we probably won't see for another – at least 90 to 100 years. Yeah. And, and that's what that's what makes me so skeptical about those videos is, of course, they're going to say like, oh, we don't know what these are. These are not of this earth or whatever the quotes were. They're saying that so that it people don't know what we have or they try to I, – I don't, I don't get, get exactly their way of thinking. But that would just – it. I want to believe so bad that there's aliens visiting – But and to me, I mean, that's the only two things it can be. Either it's really, 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 really advanced technology that they they are working on and they just don't want us to know about for whatever reason, or aliens. I mean, that's the only two things that it can be. 